For at TV, the world is thinking. Because what happens is the gravity of the black hole is e extreme, as you can imagine. Light doesn't even escape. Its gravity is so extreme. Light traveling at the speed of light, all right? It, like, just to put that in context, if you wanted to escape the Earth, it's actually possible to do that, contrary to what your grandparents told you, where they said, what goes up must come down. That's just not true. That, well, there's nothing your grandparents ever threw that never came down. But with rockets with high enough speed, you can send something so it never comes back. For Earth, that speed is seven miles per second. And we call that the escape velocity. But if I throw something, oh, I've got apples here, good. Um, <laughs> if I throw this not fast enough, it comes back. So most of life experience tells you that what goes up comes down. Seven miles per second, this never comes back. It goes to the edge of the universe there, okay? So now, it turns out on, the, on a black hole, the escape velocity is so high that you have to, speed of light is not good enough. So if light doesn't come out, nothing's coming out, it's black, you fall in, you're not coming out, it's a one-way trip, okay? So if you die this way, you won't get to tell anyone how you died. That's for starters. But second, as you fall in, you don't just die because you disappear. You, you die long before you disappear. As you fall in, the gravity at your feet becomes rapidly greater than the gravity at your head. Now, now it turns out, as if you stand on Earth, that fact is true under those conditions as well, because your feet are closer to Earth center than the top of your head is. So your feet actually feel a stronger force of gravity, but not by much. Because if you're you know, five feet tall, six feet tall, and Earth is like 4,000 miles in radius, that difference is not that great compared with the distance to the center of the Earth. Black hole, they're so small, so compact, that your height becomes, your height matters as you fall in towards the black hole. So your feet start falling faster than your head does. That's a bad situation to be in. <laughs> you don't really, now initially you kind of feel good, you know? Because it, it's, every, you, we all stretch when you wake up in the morning. Initially, it feels like a stretch. Right, sort of general relativity kind of yoga. Okay, sort of it's a kind of yoga, cosmic yoga. But what happens is that stretch continues beyond comfort levels. <laughs> and you reach a point where, and they're called the tidal forces, tides on your body, basically. The tidal force becomes so great that they exceed the intermolecular forces that bind your flesh. And so the point comes where you snap into two pieces, likely to happen at the base of your spine. Now you are two pieces. Now, it turns out, now I know you didn't ask about this, but <laughs> I got a whole chapter on it, and I got to, so, it turns out you will survive that snap because below your waist, while there are important organs, there are no vital organs below your waist. So, your torso will stay alive for a little while, okay, until you bleed to death, but this all happens much faster than it would take to bleed to death. So, these two pieces then feel tidal forces, and then they snap into two pieces, and then they snap again into eight and then 16, and then you're bifurcating your way down. And so eventually it's your head and multiple other parts. And so that will continue until you are a stream of atoms descending toward the abyss. And it turns out that's not the worst of it, <laughs> okay? The worst, it turns out the fabric of space and time funnels down towards a black hole. So the space that you occupy up here is larger than the space you occupy down here. So in fact, you're getting, while you're getting stretched, you're getting squeezed, extruded through the fabric of space like toothpaste through a tube. Now, we have a word for that. It's called spaghettification, okay? So, Invented for just this purpose. That's... One thing we're good at in English is having words for ways to die. <laughs> right? We have a word if you kill someone else. 
a, word if you, a different word if you kill yourself, a different word if you're killed by electricity, a different word, I mean, all words for how to die. Add spaghettification to it. 